How's it going guys? You're watching Wake Up and Live. I'm Elisha. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video on three-pronging. Going to give a little bit of advice and kind of just talk over three-pronging in general. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks. Okay, so after hiking to this spot, uh, the water looked kind of murky from outside and we figured just chance it, jump in and we could always stay in the shallows to three-prong. And that's what we ended up doing. Luckily, we found a lot of coles at this spot. I was pretty surprised. But anyway, yeah, so my advice to anyone starting spearfishing would be to start with a three prong. Uh, not only is it cheaper, it's, in my opinion, it's the best way to learn spearfishing because if you become proficient with a three prong, you can hunt any other way after that i mean same thing with hunting on land if you start hunting with a recurve or archery it's that much easier after when you move up to a high power or a firearm so same concept you know it'll teach you the basics and you'll become really proficient at getting close and stalking your prey so when you start off just practice going down relaxing, letting the fish come to you, or learning to slowly approach them without spooking them. And eventually, you'll start challenging yourself, start shooting more than one fish on each drop. And yeah, I mean, it really teaches you the basics of spearfishing. It also helps your breath hold when you start doing that because you start pushing yourself trying to get more than one fish and usually with three prong diving it's a lot of up and down with kind of minimal surface time so it helps build your CO2 tolerance up a little bit too just you know like any kind of diving don't overdo it one of the common mistakes I see people doing is they go down and right away they just start shooting at every chance they get. Um, I mean, it can work, but try and teach yourself to slow down and take good shots because a lot of times you end up just wounding fish and losing them. And yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not a good way of hunting. So like any kind of spearfishing, just slow it down, relax, take your time. And it becomes that much easier and more enjoyable in my opinion. Like for example, most of these dives that I'm doing, uh, I've already been on the bottom for, you know, 10 to 20 seconds, just relaxing and letting the fish come back in and just being selective, trying to pick out the bigger ones. And I mean, look how easy it becomes. Like when you wait on the bottom, the fish just become relaxed and they come right up to you, present you a lot of shots. Everyone always asks, what is the secret to holding your breath? And what is the secret to spearfishing? And most spearfishmen will tell you to relax. And honestly, I think staying calm and relaxing is probably the most important thing to do. Not only are you burning less oxygen, meaning your dive time can be as long as it can, you're also keeping the fish around you calm and that helps bring in other fish that are, you know, more wary. I used to always ask some of my friends that are better divers than I am, like, what is the secret? How can you hold your breath that long? Or how are you getting all these fish all the time? And the only advice they could really give me was to relax. And I gotta say, when I started to really pay attention to that and learning to just slow it down, 
and relax my entire body, especially your neck and your shoulders. You'll be amazed on how much tension you hold there constantly. Just learn to relax your entire body. So as you guys can tell from me saying relax about a hundred times already, um, it's probably the most important advice that I can give anyone. But above all, you know, just learn to have fun. It's not all about getting fish every time you go out there. Just be safe, respect the ocean, and enjoy your time in the water. I mean, what is the point if you're not having fun and enjoying it, right? So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm trying my best to get new content. Haven't been getting too lucky on these past dives. But thanks for all the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, go check out Venture Wetsuits in my link in the description below. Some of the best wetsuits around. Thanks for watching. Dive safe and catch you guys after.